Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 21st, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Kim and I started out the day at the Braddock Bay West Spit where it was very warm with southerly winds that were favorable for migration overnight. The main highlight was the shorebirds. Here we have a big mixed flock. Taking a closer look at some of them, here we have three short-billed dowagers. Here we have a shorebird with a very short bill and a single breast band. This is a semi-palmated plover. These sandpipers that have black bellies are Dunlin. Here we have a flock of very small sandpipers called peeps. These are either least sandpipers or semi-palmated sandpipers. Here we have a small tern from the genus Sterna. This bird has an orange base to the bill, is white underneath and has a very long tail with long outer tail feather streamers. This is a Forster's turn. Here on the rocks of the barrier island we have the season's first black-bellied plover. We had a total of 69 species from the west spit. We got over to Braddock Bay Park around 9 a.m. to start the hawk watch and it was a beautiful sunny warm morning and I decided to hang out at Braddock Bay Park while we waited to see what the wind was going to do. It kept alternating between a southerly wind and a northeast lake breeze so I wanted to wait until some hawks started coming up to see where the flight line developed. While I was walking over to the bathroom building I found this very tiny baby painted turtle in the road. And here you can see just how tiny it is, about the size of my thumb, and I only picked him up very briefly just to move him out of the road and get a quick photo. Here's an eastern kingbird perched on a sign, and here's a yellow warbler perched in a tree. Here we have a juvenile sharp-shinned hawk, and this one has a lot of feather wear. You can see in the wings a lot of the feathers are damaged, and also the tail seems to be damaged as well. We had 45 species at Braddock Bay Park. The flight line seemed to be developing inland, so at 11 a.m. we moved over to Frisbee Hill Park and hung out near the parking area, and we had a really big push of broad wings and turkey vultures and bald eagles. So really good flight from there and pretty good looks, and most of the flight was either overhead or slightly in towards the parkway. Here's a juvenile broad-winged hawk. You can see that classic beauty -o shape with more pointed wingtips on the broad wings because they only have four feathers making up the wingtip compared to five feathers for things like red shoulders and red tails. Broad wings are a small beauty -o, and this time of year we're pretty much just seeing the juveniles, although we did see a couple adults today, but predominantly the juveniles right now, which just look paler overall, a little bit of brown streaking to the underside, no dark trailing edge to the wing, so a lot of light shining through, kind of a pale tail with some thin banding to it and a lot of them are replacing their inner primary feathers so you can see the new feathers growing in. Here's a different juvenile broad-winged hawk and on this one it looks like it's already grown in a few adult wing feathers and you can see here they have the dark tips to the trailing edge. We had a steady stream of bald eagles as well here we have an immature and here we have a juvenile bald eagle. We had 33 species at Frisbee Hill Eventually, the southwest wind overpowered the lake breeze, so around 1 o'clock we moved back over to Braddock Bay Park, where it continued to be a mostly sunny day, and we had strong southwesterly winds for the rest of the afternoon. We had some excitement shortly after arriving when Mike Tetlow looked behind us and yelled, Four American White Pelicans, and this was the view that we had of them at that point. But a few minutes later, they came and gave us a really nice look. Pelicans are just huge birds. You can see they're mostly white with some black flight feathers to the wings, and they have those large yellow bills with pouches. And two of them have the big knobs here on the bills, and two of them didn't really show that. You may remember that we had a single American white pelican a few weeks ago, but it's always fun when you get groups of them like this. Not too long after that, we had another rarity. Here we have a vulture with a very compact shape, white only at the wingtips and a very short tail. This is a black vulture, our fourth one of the season. Here's a bird that you mostly see at dusk and dawn, but we sometimes see in the middle of the day, even on sunny days. This bird's from the nightjar family. It's a common nighthawk. Here's a northern harrier that came low across the marsh with red-winged blackbirds in hot pursuit. Eventually the blackbirds gave up the chase and the harrier continued on. Here's another nice bird that Mike spotted. This is a light morph rough-legged hawk. 
We see that overall black and white appearance, mostly white, but we see black carpal squares and a black belly. And it's just really late in the season to be seeing rough legs. We think of them more as a March or an April bird. And we don't really get too many into May, especially this late in the season. So that was really fun to see today. Here we have another beautio. On this one, we can see a belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, but we don't see a dark trilling edge to the wings or a red tail. So this is a juvenile red-tailed hawk. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor. This is an osprey. We also had a really good flight of turkey vultures today with a total of 572. At Braddock Bay Park in the afternoon, we had 32 species. In total today, I had 89 species. I picked up one new species for the season today, which was black-bellied plover. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had one black vulture, 572 turkey vultures, 13 osprey, 143 bald eagles, 20 northern harriers, 8 sharp-shinned hawks, 2 cooper's hawks, 1,176 broad-winged hawks, 12 red-tailed hawks, 1 rough-legged hawk, and 4 American kestrels for a total of 1,952 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 14,251 and the season total to 66,854. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking mostly sunny for the morning with scattered showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon and the storms may be severe. The high will be in the mid 80s with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that's a really good wind direction and speed as long as it is really that strong. If you look at the hourly, sometimes it looks a little bit lighter. And so it's possible that we may get the lake breeze again like we did today and we'll have to go into Frisbee Hill. But that worked out really well for us. We actually had the biggest flight of the day when that lake breeze had kicked in this morning and we were watching from the parking lot of Frisbee Hill. Uh, spotting birds may be difficult tomorrow in the morning when there's not very many clouds, so keep that in mind. And it's kind of hit or miss both with the wind. Is the wind going to be strong enough to hold off a lake breeze? Or if we get the lake breeze, will we still hold on to a flight line? And also what's going to happen with the rain? Are we going to get thunderstorms and a lot of rain that'll shut the flight down early or not? And sometimes you get a big push of birds ahead of a thunderstorm. So it could be an interesting day. Um, I would also say to uh, prepare for very hot weather. Um, we may be sitting in the shade, so you may want to bring a chair with you and definitely bring a lot of cold beverages like cold water with you just because it's going to be very hot. It's a problem we don't usually have at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Usually it's the opposite and we're freezing for most of the season, but this is the time of year when it goes from the two and a half months of winter to the couple weeks of scorching hot summer temperatures so it's looking like it could be another really good day with those favorable southwest winds and i didn't write it in the report because i know sometimes we don't want a huge crowd coming out to the platform but these may be kite winds so um, if we get those good southwest winds tomorrow we'll definitely be on the lookout for more mississippi kites we've already had two this season which is more than we usually get but hey why not a few more for Thursday, it's looking partly cloudy with a high in the mid-70s and winds west-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. I'd say expect moderate migration. And for Friday, it's looking mainly sunny with a high around 75, winds west-northwest at 10 to 15. Again, expect moderate migration. Well, if you thought migration was over, think again. Braddock Bay yet has some magic with the big shorebird migration in the morning and then getting a couple thousand raptors, including the biggest day of the season for bald eagles, plus some nice highlights, including those four American white pelicans, black vulture, and rough-legged hawk. And we have good winds again tomorrow, so you never know what could show up. Hope to see you out in the field or up on the platform or hiding in the shade under a tree, as the case may be, tomorrow. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.